Hi guys, I hope you're all doing really well. I have some voice today. Hopefully it'll improve with me actually using it. <laughs> so I wanted to have fun and um, just kind of talk today and uh, let you know that the coolest thing I was thinking about today was, again, with my education. Um, I was thinking about what my favorite subject in school was. And it wasn't very hard to remember. It was world history in eighth grade, and it was Mrs. O'Brien. Um, she was a really awesome teacher, and the stuff that she was teaching and the way she was teaching was... Um, was a little out of the box and, and kind of cool. And it just, it got my attention. And there were very few teachers that ever got my attention. Um, I just never, I never saw the relevance in school. My mind worked differently from the time, maybe since I was born, but um, yeah, I just, I never, I never found my flow with the people in, in this world. So, I'm learning how to communicate. Not not that I haven't communicated and stuff, but like on the the innermost levels, you know. Anyways, so cuz I've always been kind of diff in a different um uh place in my mind, not not with the logical, you know, school A+ plus type of thinking. Uh, anyways, so So I wanted to come at this in a different kind of a fashion. And when I was in her class, in Mrs. O'Brien's class, uh, for the first time I wasn't afraid of learning. And I wasn't afraid to be seen in the class. I was always like terrified in class that the teacher would call on me because I knew that I wasn't going to know the answer and I knew that I couldn't fake my way through it. So I just had to, like, if she said, Brittany, why don't you help us out here? Then I, I always knew my response was going to be, I don't know. I didn't read it or I, have, I don't know. I don't understand it. And then everybody would chuckle and laugh and the teacher would scorn at me and look down her nose at me. And she would do it later and let, you know, frequently just to, is it like an emotional tool to hurt me kind of? It's weird how, how that works, but it, it's true. So um, in Mrs. O'Brien's class, I, I, I just felt like a rock star because it was, it was like where I belonged. <laughs> oh, it's just funny, funny stuff. Anyway, so taking that and then kind of turning it more interpersonally and narrowing it down to look at where I live and um and when I say like when I go and I tell my story and I think about all the different places I've lived I keep coming back to Idaho it's just kind of crazy like so many times I have been back to Idaho and this time I feel like you know I'm just this is my place I'm supposed to be I just keep getting pulled back from Washington Arizona Texas Pennsylvania Massachusetts Nevada, <laughs> it's crazy the places I've been. <clears throat> anyway, so I have reference points. Like I know what the beauty is in Texas and I know what the beauty is in Nevada and I know what the beauty is in whatever, okay. And, and granted, having more familiarity with an area, I might have some partiality to it, right? Maybe that's the case. But also, since my family's from around here, I've heard all of the cool stories and I can go and check out the history to some degree. I mean, there's a lot of the land that's now marked off from BLN um, ground, you know, to preserve the habitat and all that. But, um, you know, you can still kind of, like, I can still go close to those places. Some of them, me, my dad and I actually um, would go, you can't, you can't get there anymore some of them now you have to pay to get in but you know it's nice to have people there that take care of the the grounds and stuff um anyways so i uh, wanted to let you know that there is so much more in idaho than potatoes 
Um, it just, Idaho just hasn't been seen with the proper eyes. Even the B-52s loved Idaho enough to sing a song about it. So I hope, <laughs> I don't know how long this little adventure is going to last. I mean, like how many videos or whatever. But I hope that you can see what I can see and, and really grab a hold of what Idaho has to offer. So what I wanted to do is kind of like maybe touch on a couple of things every day, depending on how my day's going. Things are really weird in my life right now, like super weird. So, um, yeah, I just, I, I just don't plan on things, but what I can try to do is put out one to two, uh, things a day and, and just share my experience with you. I love you guys, and... Oh, I'm not letting go yet. Hold on. We're going to come and check out these lyrics. So, B-52s, I'm kind of a nerd. I, I, um, I like the B-52s. They were fun. I know they were kind of weird, but so was I. So, check out the lyrics. I would sing it, but, oh my gosh, my, my throat is just awful. Um, so, I'll just read it to you. It says, you know, the oo-oo's and all that. You're living in your own private Idaho, living in your own private Idaho, underground like a wild potato. Don't go on the patio. Beware of the pool, blue bottomless pool. It leads you straight right through the gate that opens the pool. You're living in your own private Idaho, living in your own private Idaho. Keep off the path, beware of the gate. Watch out for signs that say hidden driveways. Don't let the chlorine in your eyes blind you to the awful surprise. That's been waiting for you at the bottom of the bottomless blue, blue, blue pool. You're living in your own private Idaho. You're out of control. The rivers that roll, you fell into the water and down to Idaho. Get out of that state. Get out. Oh, well, there's a button here that says you can push for full lyrics. So let's see if there's... So I'll just go to the next verse. It says, keep off the patio, your own private Idaho. Keep off the path. The lawn may be green, but you better not be seen walking through a gate that leads you down a pool fraught with danger. It's a pool of strangers. Hey, you're living in your own private Idaho, but where do I go from here to a better state than this? Well, don't be blind to the big surprise, swimming around and round like the deadly hand of a radium clock at the bottom of the pool. I, I, Idaho, I, I, Idaho, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, get out of that state, get out of that state so much fun when they sing it i mean their hair's all big and they're having a great time on stage and stuff you ought to go check out the song <clears throat> i'll just kind of come back here so um i think i'll just leave it there today and um i have a well just for a little bit i have another one that i want to put out and hopefully you'll join me in having fun learning about Idaho again. Talk to you real soon. I love you guys. Bye.